you guys welcome to journey with Shar. right now we are cutting up vegetables mommy and i and we're gonna freeze these for our smoothies then i'm gonna make some pancakes we're gonna freeze those and i have a little bit of my um i also have some chicken pot pie i'm gonna show you how to freeze those just to prepare you guys just in case oh and these are all organic strawberries organic blueberries yes 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 you guys hear the background and we have some apples here and they're organic as well grapes are too and grapes are too okay you guys so this is what mommy has done so far we didn't have that many grapes we've been eating them on week, but this is how she's cutting that up freezer bags here you guys they're so good all right, we even have more strawberries here. We're gonna help her cut that up. Okay, you guys, so mommy has filled the blueberries. I'm just gonna go through as I put, cause there's a stem on a couple. I'm gonna go through as I, these are already clean and been washed and cut up. And then um, we have a little bit of grapes. Child, these are gonna be snacked on right now. I don't know what mama trying to do with these grapes. <laughs> Child, I don't know what she doing with these grapes. We gonna snack on those. Okay, and then I have this. I'm gonna open it and show you guys. Okay, so we have this organic um, Daybreak blend. It does have strawberries in it, but it also has mango, strawberries, and pineapple. So I'm just gonna blend these into individual little packages so we can have a nice tropical smoothie throughout the week and get enough for our vegetables. I love these glad bags because you can write the date and the time, the date that you, um, what's in there and then you can write the date and say what it's for so that's what i do love about these little glad bags i have a half a cup i'm going to try to grab a little of everything and put it in there this is not going to go in but i wanted to show you guys what powder i use for my protein smoothie that y'all i got this from um, home goods and they also have them at tj maxx which is owned by the same company and they were for a really good price i think it was like 7.99 i absolutely love this 5.99 5.99 sorry mommy corrected me 5.99 and then this is the moringa um powder which is a super food my sister bought this for mommy and i and um josh and we have been loving it you take a little scoop and just put that tiny little scoop in your smoothie along with the protein and you are good to go so anyway let's get back started with this honey we're gonna do this real fast so we have a green marker here that i'm gonna use so this is what i wrote there i just put tropical fruit smoothie mix 314 2020 so now what we're gonna do we're gonna open this up i'm just gonna grab a few of these strawberries y'all i'm gonna try to do it like rationing out where it's like four strawberries in here we're gonna do a little bit of blueberries about that much blueberries okay i'm gonna go in here i want y'all to see what this looks like in here because i know i can show you from here so you see what that looks like and that's um peaches strawberries and make y'all this smell so good so i'm gonna try to avoid getting strawberry because we already have strawberry in there so then we're gonna take that out that's what that looked like i got a peach and mango and i have some pineapple in there we're gonna toss that up in there break that up a little bit and then i'm going to bring mommy's bringing the apple and i'm going to cut up a banana and put that in there so each person i'm giving them a small size banana and banana is good for potassium. So I'm gonna take some of these apples, okay? So mommy brought a whole thing of organic apples and we cleaned them really good. And I'm gonna put about three apple slices down in there. Maybe four, cause that's a half an apple, okay? And later on that person can have a half an apple for, um, they can have a half an apple for after dinner. Okay, so now let's get this banana y'all she not organized but y'all listen that's life we go as we flow right we go as we flow yes we go as we flow look at that nice little organic beautiful banana taking all those little string banana hair off because i don't like no form of hair in my food banana hair i don't care if it's human hair child she don't like it anyway so that's what we're going to do we're going to cut that banana up really quick I'm gonna put it in nice little slices. Y'all can hear I got my, my fruit knife here that I absolutely love that I got from Daiso. So we're cutting that up. Nice little angles. Hands are clean, cause that's what we gotta do more so than ever now, guys. Make sure our hands are clean. So I cut that up. I'm going to take that. And so that's what it looks like with the apples and the blueberries. 
And she gonna take this like so, child, and go on, she ain't got touching no more. And that is the smoothie mix. So we're gonna cut, close that up, make sure all the air is completely out. And look, we're good to go. That is one smoothie bag, good to go. That's gonna go in. Next one, we're gonna do another one. We have that here. Hopefully this sharp pen is gonna show the other pen how to really do it, okay? So we're gonna write with this sharp pen. Y'all, let me tell you, sometimes you just gotta go do what's best. Now see the difference between that and this one? Mm -mm. I know y'all might say, girl, it don't matter, but it does. You can really see the difference. Okay, let's do this really quick. So we're going to do the blueberries. A little thing of blueberries here. Blueberries. Do some strawberries. I'm gonna get like four strawberries here. Y'all see me getting in? Go in here and get like four little strawberries. Four strawberries. There we go. We're gonna do four apples because that four slice like this is a half of an apple, okay? Two, three, four okay this is what we're looking like so far then remember we're going to do one whole banana for a person and this is a smoothie where the way my family and i do it we put them in our containers but we'll drink half of it in the morning put it in our fridge at work then later on um you can have the other half okay and we're good to go there we go you guys so make sure all of that is stored away and we got our fruit smoothies. So I'm gonna do the rest of these. I'm not gonna bore you guys. And as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna let you see how they look and how I store them. And then we're gonna put them in the freezer. So you guys stay tuned. Next stop after this is going to be frozen waffles, okay? We're gonna do frozen waffles. We're gonna do plain waffles. We're gonna do blueberry waffles. Yes, yummy, yummy waffles. Okay, you guys, so I wanna show you so far what I did. Okay, so this one is apple berry blend. And this is just apples and berries. And mama's two grapes, y'all. Y'all know she has six grapes left. She, <laughs> six grapes left, and she meant she was going to use them grapes. So it's two grapes for each one of these. And I made three each because it's for me, mommy, and Joshua for our um, um, uh, daily uh, fruit. So this is the apple berry blend for our smoothie. All right? Banana berry blend. Okay, so that's apple berry blend. And then I did a banana berry blend, okay? So that's one of those small organic apples with um, strawberries and blueberries. Strawberries and blueberries. And then that's the banana berry blend. I did all three of those. And then I did the tropical smoothie blend, which has that in it with the berries and, and all of the uh, mango, banana, berries, and peaches are in there. Okay, you guys, and that's three each. And so now I need to do three more of another blend and I'm gonna be done. And I will show you guys when I put them, try to put them in my freezer, y'all, it's so packed. All right, so we still have this little bit of apple left, this little um, bit of strawberry left, and this little bit of berry. But mommy has some bananas that she froze earlier. So that's gonna help me because I only have two bananas left and that can help. These are the ones that mommy froze the other day. And this is good because you can split these up. It's so many bananas in there. You can literally split these up into two um, days. So I'm glad she went ahead on and store those up. Okay, you guys, before I even finish up um, the rest of my frozen smoothies, this is what I got the antioxidants, um, organic antioxidants live more from Costco. See all what comes inside. And what I love about this is I'm gonna open it so you can see exactly what I love about this set so much. Hold on one moment. Okay, so I've opened it and what I love about this, you see? Bam, already done. And all you gotta do, this can feed two people. Usually we do two people and we'll do a half a banana and it's good to go. You can add um, um, whatever, but uh, you can add a banana to this if you want that but potassium, but this is it. And that is why I love this set here because it already comes pre-packaged. You get six, eight ounce packages and that right there, I promise you, if you want a big smoothie, you can do that or you can split this up. If you can see as I've got my thumb here, that is a lot 
for a smoothie, a nice size smoothie for a person. If you add maybe an apple to that and a half an apple, I mean banana, like a little bit of banana, you are good to go. Okay, you guys, we are done. So here I have the weekend breakfast smoothie when everyone's home on the weekend morning. And in here is the blueberries, um, strawberries, apples, and this is um, bananas. And we can make a green smoothie with this. And this can split up with for three people. And you see I have four three right there. So we're going to do that. I have that. That was the leftover. And then I have the banana strawberry. Three of them. One for me. One for mommy. And this was the frozen banana. I just stuck it in there with this. And then one for Josh. All three of us. And then this one is the apple berry blend. And we have three of these. Where's apple berry blend? Yes. Three of the apple berry blends. I want you guys to see. Okay, and we're gonna put these in the freezer right now. And then we have the banana berry. No, I'm sorry, I already showed you that. Oh, maybe I didn't. Then we have the banana berry blend. Oh, banana strawberry blend. This is the banana berry blend. And this one is just banana, strawberry, and apple. This one's banana, strawberry, and um, um, blueberry. Okay, banana, strawberry, and blueberry. Banana, strawberry, and apple. And then this back here, so we have three of those. And then this is the tropical blend, which is probably gonna be a big hit. The tropical blend smoothie. This is the banana, the apple, the blueberry, the strawberry, and we also have um, peaches and pineapple in there and a little bit of mango, all right? So this is my freezer and this is how packed it is. So I'm gonna have to use my refrigerator freezer. This is some of the frozen fruit there. Okay, you guys, so that is all of my smoothies ready to go all right okay you guys so now we're going to y'all look at this the blue and it's the flower so we're going to use that today i'm going to make some waffles here and let's start by putting some of the butter here it's already ready to go y'all she is ready to go and this is whole grain this is whole grain um waffle mix i mean pancake mix and i did it martha stewart i switched it out and made it whole grain i'm going to put the link below so you guys if you're interested in let's see how these whole grain ones do if you're interested in um these waffles you can check it out below okay this is the whole grain one it's a little thicker than the regular one but we're going to see how it comes out so excited so that's going to turn blue when it's ready to be when it's ready to be taken out. There we go. So it's starting. As soon as the light goes out, that's when you take this cute little waffle out. So I'm gonna make a bunch of these and I'm gonna freeze them today. I'm gonna hold this here. You see a little steam coming out? A little bit of steam. And these are the whole grain. Steaming, steaming, steaming. I don't wanna get too close. There we go. So it says it's ready. Look at that beautiful waffle. And this is the whole grain. Mommy, you got a plate? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take this one out and I'm gonna let it be cooling off. But look at the flower, you guys. Isn't that flower pretty? Oh, That's what I wanted pretty. to see. Okay. So we're gonna put that on the plate and I'm gonna start another one. All right, you guys. And these little things are perfect for portion control, I've said that before with other ones, it's perfect for um, college students, perfect for just little individual waffles for your kids. This is fun for your kids, fun family time. Hold on, let me get that in there. Okay, make sure you spread it all the way around. And then we're just gonna put that top down, and let that cook away. But that's how that looks so far. Look at the pretty, Flower. It's kind of dented on the side because I took, but the print, you see the flower print, just like what's right here on the box. Very, very pretty. So the next one we're gonna put down, we're gonna add some blueberries to this one, okay? Okay, let me just stir this a little bit because as we go, it gets a little fluffy as the, uh, there we go. Just spread that around. And just spread that around. And then we're gonna add some blueberries in there. See how everything 
crops together and these are clean little blueberries and I'm gonna try to nestle them down in there. So cute, blueberry waffles you guys. And so there we go. So we're gonna plop that down. We're gonna see how they work in here. So it says that it's done. Oh, look at the blueberries. They popped, how cute. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, so let me. Okay, so let me take this out. Oh, it went through. Oh, I love the blueberry ones. Ma, you gotta come see. I'm gonna do another blueberry one. Oh, the blueberry ones are awesome. It's got that little pop. They popped. <laughs> then we're gonna take some of these blueberries, just a few, plop them on in there. I love the blueberry pop look. That is really cute. Press that down. Make sure you put that down. Good to go. I'm gonna kind of hold it a little bit. There we go. And I pressed it down just a little bit. Just wipe that off. But this right here so far is what the blueberry one looks like. Isn't that beautiful? It's hot, hot, hot. But yes, it's gorgeous. I'm eating this one. So. Okay, let's see how it comes. All right, this is done. This one's beautiful. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna take this little spatula and kind of lift it a little bit. And that helps me lift it, all right? Oh, this one's beautiful. So we wanted to try the blueberry one, y'all. Look at that. It is absolutely fabulous. Just amazing. Love it. Okay, you guys, so that is done. This is what we have from the whole grain. Next up is going to be the regular all-purpose flour. Okay, you guys, so I'm putting the butter in. Move this up some. Let that go there. And we're gonna take this, spread it here. And this is, a, as you can see, it's more of a, a smoother dough. And I think that's because the um, whole grain is a little thicker. Okay, so we're just gonna smooth that out. And we, we want these to be a little bit more. It's already starting to cook. As you can see, I'm gonna add a little bit more. There we go, and we're gonna put some blueberries because the blueberries are wonderful. So I'm gonna do some of these with blueberries as well, all right? All right, and so this is what we have so far. Look how pretty. That is so beautiful. Here we go, it's so beautiful. I love this Dash brand. Love it, love it. All right, this bad boy looks like it's almost done. I'm hearing it sizzle. Oh, there we go. So it looks like it's doing opposite. Anyway, so there we go, you guys. And look at that one. Look at those beautiful blueberries. Look at that beautiful flower. And we're gonna put these separate. Okay, you guys, so these are the regular flowered ones and some blueberries and some plain. And these are the whole grain flowers, okay? The whole wheat. So I'm gonna let these cool off completely and then I'm going to put them in the freezer bag and put it in the freezer. Ready to be done. This thing works wonderful all the time. Look at them. All right. Okay, you guys, so we just finished and they've been sitting out for a while. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bag them. This one is the whole wheat ones and this one is the regular one. So I have the bags, whole wheat ones, which I'm gonna put these in here and then these are the regular ones. Okay, so let's get storing these away. Y'all stay tuned. Push the bag up now. And you open them off. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys. So that's the plain waffle. Make sure all the air is out. I'm doing this off camera, but y'all can hear me. And there you go, honey, that is a meal. That is some meal set, okay? So we have two bags of waffles done and ready to go in the freezer. All right, and that is the flour. Y'all excuse the box, it needs to be wiped off. There we go. That is the Dash Waffle, Mini Waffle 
flour. The Flour Mini Waffle Maker by Dash. And it is fantastic. I give it two thumbs up. And this is what it looks like. I'm about to take it out and clean it, y'all. So I gotta go and clean it. I got my Q-tips, because I do clean this with Q-tips. I get all in the crevices. So it's gonna take me, I'll look at a movie and sit there and clean all of this and then get it back to where it's original look. Okay, you guys, but this thing is fantastic. Two thumbs up. And this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. And I hope you like these little quick freezer ideas of little mini waffles. And um, let me know, do you have one of these Dash waffles yourself and how much do you like it? I will put the link below where you can get this Dash waffle. I got this from Target the other day when I went about two weeks ago, you guys, and I got the last one. So, but they do sell them on Amazon as well. I will put the link below when I find it, okay, you guys? It will be below by the time this video goes up. So thank you so much for tuning in. You guys be safe. I'm praying for everybody. Take it one day at a time. Make sure you wash your hands. I can't stress that enough. Use your Clorox wipes and your and your um, Pine Sol and your Lysol. That's everything, you guys. So be safe and trust God because He's in control of everything, y'all. We we can't run around here and just think that this is the end of the world. Take it one day at a time and be fair and treat people with respect and love and support each other and help each other out as much as you possibly right. can. If you got something extra and you can give a little, hey, go ahead and help that person that that may not have it and need it and give a little. Another thing before I close this out that I think is awesome that I'm looking for somebody old to help. Joshua has them at his job. But if there's an old elderly person that's in your area that is um, go to your church, they may be your neighbor, and you know them, and they can trust you, you guys, get their grocery list. Go get their groceries for them. If you have something extra, give it to them. Any way, the, any way that we can help them avoid from going out until this virus is gone and complete from what Dr. Oz is gonna always be, but until it's like kinda down where it's not like so rampant, help your elderly as much as possible. We have to take care of the elderly people. And anyway, that's what Jesus would want you to do anyway. <laughs> so you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, trust God, keep him first, and he'll always lead you in the right direction. And we're gonna get through this, through prayer, and through taking care of one another, and keeping our hands and our environment clean, and making sure we're not coughing and sneezing on, and sneezing on people. We're gonna get through this. All right, you guys, so thank you so much. Mom, did you wanna say something? Hi, everybody. She says hello. <laughs> and she says she loves you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Be blessed, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.